Well, hello there, friends. This is Barry's Best Honey. I'm Mike, and I do bees. Welcome back to my bee yard, and today, inside my honey house, for just a little while, here in southeast Louisiana. All right, folks, uh, I wasn't gonna make a video today. Actually, I was gonna shoot some video out in the yard. It was a last minute decision because I'm busy around here doing stuff around the house, catching up. Um, but I got done doing some, uh, washing the honey house down on, on, on the outside, cleaning it and doing some stuff around the yard. And I said, let me, let me go, I'm gonna go check that colony. And I've been kind of wanting to shoot a video on the, on the uh, do another follow-up mic count after oxalic acid. And I said, I'm, I'm gonna go do it today because I don't really have any other video to shoot right now. And I just put together that store and brew comb video. So I grabbed my camera, I had the tub handy, just threw a jacket on, went out there with some smoke and a couple items and did a mic count. So let me show you the footage I shot and then um, we'll see what kind of mic count we got. Open this one hive. That's it. That pattern looks so much better than when we pulled it the first time. I still see some uncapping and recapping actually, but that's promising. Yeah, it's looking better. It's a nice frame full of larvae. That's nice. Uh, be a good one to shake, but I need my queen. I need to see her first. Make sure she's not on here. This will be one I shake. If I'm a queen, I'm going to put her in a cage so I don't have any chance of shaking her. She's fine. But it's weird. She's only on the outside four frames. Everything else is wide open in a top box full of honey. I'm a cager.
all right I came in guys I wanted to go out real quick and look at that colony and I was gonna do a mite wash on it uh, you usually don't follow up too much with mite washes uh, back in the day when I first started using oxalic acid but the last few years I have followed up to see how my treatments are working and uh, I haven't looked at the I shook it more out there while you're out there I'm shaking it now it's been shook for well over a minute I've let it set and then I've shook it again just like I did the last time I'm using the same this is the same hive we checked that had 17 mites I didn't show on the rest of the video I let it set for another hour while I was working shook it some more and ended up having 20 mites in there I'm using the same thing the dawn to water ratio tablespoon and a half to a gallon um, this time I did get a full cup full of bees so I should have closer to 300 if not over 300 bees I found the queen so I was able to get a nice frame with a lot of larvae and cat brood on both sides that nest is funny she's only filling for like four frames on one side that's it all the rest are beautiful clean protected but no eggs no larvae no nothing she's just laying in that one spot and that's normal this time of year I hate doing these mite washes on because I'm taking bees but you did notice her brood pattern looked better I mean she, she they were pulling some larvae out but nothing like they were um, last but three and a half weeks ago before these uh, oxalic acid vapors started and um, they looked livelier they were covering the frame nicer population still mediocre at best at best but again normal this time of year because I just don't feed my bees my plan now is probably feed them in September with some open feed and some hive alive about mid-September I'm gonna throw a big toad out there and just feed them up and uh, I only got four I'm feeding now that are very very light getting those taken care of with some one-to-one -one. I put some pollen dry pollen sub out the other day for them to eat on just something to keep kind of boost them I don't want to feed them because they're full of honey but I'll open feed them right there in the fall when they're still building up some more bees uh, we don't even know if we'll get a flow we had rain in six weeks now I mean, we had three tenths of an inch but uh, it's bad right now so I haven't looked at this yet I have not looked I'm always nervous looking at them to see if my treatment works because then you know that's going to throw me into full-on panic mode but I was talking to Alan via text this morning and he is our old bee inspector he's old as in used to be not old and he is uh who you can see I'm still trying to cool down it's so hot already but he is um, retired now and he was talking about he did he did his ape guard in in the high heat and he had no issues you know I got nervous when it got to a hundred I would have done it in 95 to 100 but a hundred and over I got nervous but he said he had no problems and uh, you know he had a little bit of uh, he, he's got a little advice I, I appreciate him sharing his time and experience with me so you know push comes to shove this is real bad we'll go back with ape guard here pretty soon um, I hope not that was a lot of work so let's look and see what it does did this OA really do anything I don't know let's look you're gonna look before me I'm I'm not even gonna look yet here it comes what do you see Two. That's not a mite over there on the right. No, that's yeah, that's a piece of trash. There's four. Of them. I see four mites. I see four mites down from 17 and eventually 20. And four mites is actually behind, below the threshold. Four mites from 20. How did I do that oxalic acid? Well, I'm thinking now, I look at my book, I got it all written down how often, but basically nobody went more than six days. Most of them were four days and five day interval. And I think I did one six day interval on one yard and the rest were four and five days. More four day intervals than five days. I did four treatments. I did it all in about three, three and a half weeks. I just went down to four mites. I'd rather have no mites or one mite or two mites, but I gotta say the brood looked better You've seen the brood look better. I should, I'll, I'll try and show a comparison. And there was nice, she's laying nice although she's only laying in small areas but that's significant that's a significant knockdown and that was an infested hive 
like when we did it, I think we did 14, then I counted 17 on the back porch, and then I did it again and let it set, and I came out and did some stuff, shook it, let it set, and looked, and there was 20 mites in there. I've shook it as much as I did last time, not in as long as a length of time, but as many times, and I'm getting no more drop. I see one piece of debris. There is a piece of debris that looks like a mite, and it's not. It's four mites. So definitely four mites. I'm pleased with that. I'm very pleased with that. Uh, wow, good knockdown. I'm always nervous because, you know, if you see a bad knockdown, then you're concerned. Like last year with Hop Guard, I didn't feel comfortable, and I should have acted on it, and I didn't. And we may have paid a little bit of the price this year for that. But, uh, whew, that makes me feel good going into the fall. So there's a good chance I'll either use Apigard in the fall or I'll push it to the spring and oxalic acid them in the cold. Just depends. I'm going to think it through. I haven't checked any other colonies and remember that colony was a swarm that has never been treated so that that bad knockdown last year really had nothing to do with that one that one wasn't didn't wasn't in my yard last year and it came from a place where there's no beekeepers around well there's a beekeeper but he's a long way away but uh it, it, i'm sure it's a feral swarm just knowing where it's at so i'm pleased with that <laughs> i'm pleased with that i'm a I didn't even plan on shooting this video. I was doing this. I was going to document and I was going to throw this footage in another video somewhere and uh, just uh, update you guys. But I'll go ahead and make this a video. So with that, I'm going to end this video that I'm going to make a video. <laughs> this is Barry's Best Honey. I'm Mike and I do bees. Thank goodness I'm not raising as many mites as I was. Y'all have a wonderful, wonderful week and may God bless you. We'll see y'all later.